Pictures up. Lands roll sound. Tap speed. Camera speed. Two. Awesome. Take two. Mark. My name is Nabil Musa. Yes, I am a Syrian, but I'm also American. Um, I come from a Christian background, and I consider myself a spiritual person now. I don't really follow uh, any particular religion. And I'm gay, I'm married to a wonderful man, and that's who I am. I'm just an average individual. I decided you know, everything I've done before, I've been very successful at, but it wasn't as fulfilling. I don't really go in with so much like a set idea, because I can go in and say, okay, I'm gonna paint a chair, but by the time I'm done, it could be a horse. That's usually when I'm really creative, is when I'm relaxing, walking, or just doing something uh, very simple. Um, it, it could be, I don't know, a leaf falling from a tree. And it's like, wow, look at the colors on this. It's amazing. You know, and, and, and I'll break it in different shapes and stuff. And, and sometimes inspiration comes from there. Other times, um, uh, I, I, I listen to people and sometimes something somebody says resonates with me. And I think, wow, how can I go with that and, and create something out of it? Uh, honestly, it could be anything. And, and I've had a lot of ideas. I don't like just the dumbest things. They just they just come, but they manifest into something wonderful. Hey, baby, I lost you. <laughs> Hi, yeah, how, how's this going? When I first moved to Atlanta in 2001, I was afraid of being gay, and now I am proud to be gay. And it, it was a gay community in Atlanta that helped me uh, become that strong individual. And, and I'm grateful for Atlanta for doing that. All right, well, I'm gonna go. I miss you. Okay, I miss you too. Come be my prayer. I wanna talk about those cards. Okay, I will. Love you. Love you, baby. Love you, bye. What is your parents' opinions on Scott? My parents don't give a shit about anything I, that I do, and it's basically, we don't want to talk to you, we don't want to hear from you, uh, you know, we don't care what's going on in your life, and they don't understand my art, they don't care about my art, you know, not being, like, not even being hugged by anybody for, you know, months, years, is, is what I'm living. You know, a lot of my work too tends to be about uh, about human rights, uh, 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 inequality. I'm I'm one of those people who like like to fight for the underdog, um, as I fight for my for my own rights as well. So those are inspirations for me. And a lot of times when I'm working on a project like that, uh, you know, the, the the thought becomes deeper, and when I'm analyzing something, obviously uh, I'm going to learn from it. So I feel by the time I'm done with the project, there's a lot more meaning behind it because I have come out from the other end uh, as, as a better person. Taking Islamic refugees would be suicide. There's a direct connection between that population and the risk of terror. Should we really be opening our doors at the risk of letting in terrorists? Muslims might blow us up, and the Christians are not going to. It would be in the interest of the Muslim community to say, no, these people are much different than the rest of us. And that's not the message that we're getting. Judgment Day 9-11 was created to bring uh, people of the Middle East uh, together with Americans so that we can all co-create on these walls and I always tell people feel free to be honest in your message if you have something hateful to say say it on those walls if you have something good to say say it because I feel like if we're if we're not being honest that we can't move forward 
I wanted to talk about 9-11 and its effects on the Middle Eastern culture because what people in, in the Western world doesn't realize is that the Arab community is a very friendly and loving community. But we are portrayed in the news as these evil people who you have to watch out for because any one of them can blow, can, can blow us up. And it's so untrue, it's so far from, from, from reality. But my hope is when somebody comes in uh, who, who thinks Arabs are evil people and is, and is writing those messages on the wall and he sees a family who is from the Middle East and has the opportunity to mingle with them and chat with them, I feel like that is a starting point for both, for both sides to, to meet and, and get to know each other. Because we're really, we're, we're, all of us have more in common than we do difference. So if we focus on the things that we have in, in common, we'll find that we're a lot more alike than we are different. We all want peace, we all want uh, a safe place to live, we all want uh, happiness, we want, we want health and we want our kids to prosper and, uh, and enjoy life. Who doesn't want that? When I first started Judgment Day 9-11, a lot of people were fearful. They were like, don't do this. You're gonna put yourself in, uh, in your life at, at risk because somebody's gonna be angry and they're gonna, af they're gonna come after you. You know, and it was so different. Uh, people that came in were so grateful to be able to, to see it. As an artist, as, as a person, as a human being, all I can do is it, it try and voice my opinion. You know, I can't change everybody, but if we could change one person at a time, I feel there is there's, there's something powerful behind that. You know, we, we do the change slowly, and, and hopefully somewhere will resonate. Hopefully this new generation that's, uh, uh, that's growing up is listening to us and learning from us and hopefully they'll use love instead, instead of weapons to, uh, to change the world around them. The, the American public is clueless on what they have. We're taking it for granted. And all I can say is wake up, stand up for what's right. It doesn't matter whether you're Republican, Democrat, or neither. We're Americans. We need to be fighting for our civil rights. We shouldn't be fighting over whether somebody is gay, whether they're allowed to be married, uh, we shouldn't be fighting uh, over abortion issues, we shouldn't be fighting over uh, uh, the illegals in the United States. Uh, we need to be fighting as Americans for our freedom. And because they're keeping us busy right now with all this little stuff while they're taking away our rights and soon we won't be able to do anything. Uh, put fear aside and share your knowledge, and I feel like that's really the, the essence of it, is they're afraid to, sh to share the knowledge. Uh, we grow when we share. We become better people when we share. So, you know, be, be open to it. Um, there's nothing wrong with inspiring other people. That's what teachers do. Why can we behave as teachers? After all, we are trying to make a difference. I always feel that uh, a good artist will learn from the viewer because there's a lot of times, you know, as artists we, th we think we know it all. Well, we really don't. We're, we're just messengers. We're just putting our thoughts uh, on canvas or on paper. And, and I feel as an artist, I have to be, if I'm expecting other people to be open-minded, that means I need to be open-minded because there are times when other people have come in and talked about my work in ways that I'm not expecting and and I stand back and say wow I never really thought about it you know and a lot of times I'll say thank you for opening my mind to something new because we have to do that if we don't do that then how do we expect other people to learn from us if we're not learning from them
Hey mom and dad, this is Nabil. I don't know what to say anymore. I feel like I've tried. I'm always trying to open up communication to get you guys to understand. I don't think you realize how hurtful your behavior has been and, and how is- isolated I feel and rejected by my own family. And uh, I have been so angry for so long and, and I don't want to be angry anymore. And I just want you to know that I forgive you